how to make a survey and send it to your clients, leads, partners, and vendors. My name is Lana and we are talking about how to make a survey and collect opinion of your contacts to improve your business strategy or to launch a new project. Our channel is fresh and new. And from the first sight, you may think that it's all about wedding and event industry, but it's not. It's something more. We started to film tutorials for business owners and private entrepreneurs how to grow their business and improve their business strategy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch new tutorials every Wednesday. So, how to make a survey? We recommend to use MailChimp. MailChimp recently launched their survey around two months ago that is very easy to use and now we will dive in in technical aspects how to create a survey and then the most important thing how to send it because once you create the survey it's not yet all done you need to know how to send it to your contacts keep watching and we go behind the scenes now and here we are we open MailChimp survey so here we have MailChimp.com. We have already the campaign. We're using MailChimp. So that's why we log in automatically. If you haven't signed up yet, you're most welcome to sign up. First of all, go to Create. And you see here Email, Ads, Website, Landing Page, and Survey. That is new. You click here. And here you are. So the name, this is our name that we did, we created already, but you can select an audience and then you can uh, choose any other audience. We have one audience that is Lana Wedding Planner. So we choose it and we click begin. Now we are here and uh, while building survey, it consists of two parts, questions and uh, design. So first of all, it brings you to the page questions. And if you click here, uh, you add questions. What you would like to learn? So it means what, what is the purpose of your survey and why you want your contacts to take the survey. Um, from the beginning, I want to say that the survey shouldn't be complicated. It should be very quick and easy to understand if you want to reach and get real success. Add question. As you may see, uh, questions can be presented in different types. It's radio buttons where uh, you have uh, different options of answers and uh, the person needs to take only one single answer. Check boxes, as you understood already, multiple answers that can be applied to the same question. Range, uh, that means from 0 to 10 points. And open text, where you put just the, uh, the name of the question and then the person is uh, replying to it in free text. So let's try each of them. So we add the question, radio button. For example, do you use YouTube often? This is our first question. And then option, yes, option of the question for sure. Another no, and I would put oh, the third one that is seldom. Then, if you want to have uh, more variants, for sure, you just click enter and then you add uh, more options, but we don't have here, so we proceed to add another question. I would suggest to use different types of questions because then the survey will not be so boring. And this is the purpose, to get the survey done by as many people as it's possible. Then we can proceed to check boxes. You remember check boxes, uh, multiple answers are possible for the same question. Then you proceed to another question, but try, but try to make these questions in a logic uh, sequence because then it will help uh, to not to skip the survey for the person, but to keep it till the very end. You have a range type of the question. It's where from zero to 10 points, people give you the mark. Then another question that we have, open text. 
open text, as I mentioned already, you just make a question and it's up to the person to write the answer. Sometimes it can be avoided and the person may not will uh, to answer it. So if you want the person to answer it, you can make the answer as required. You see the tag here, it means the person will not be able to submit the survey unless they answer this question. If you decided to skip this question, so you just delete the question and that's it. Then you see here after questions, we have design. We click to design. You see all our questions already here. They are ready. And now we design how it will look like. So branding, you can include even your logo. You will need just to download the logo if you don't have it, but we have it already here in the library. Then description. So the description is very important and we would recommend it to use because once people open your survey, they will see what the survey about is. Our survey is about YouTube channel that we are going to launch very soon. And I prefer to put how many minutes it will take for them to take the survey. Uh, because personally, I, when I get the surveys and I open them and it doesn't say how many minutes it will take, I open a survey, but then I see that it's 20 questions and they're with open text and they're very heavy. So it means I will need to spend around 20, 30 minutes of my time that I'm not willing to do at all. So we write, it will take only two things of your precious time. That's it. It's very clear from the beginning. Then you can have customized messaging. What it means. Customized messaging is this button. So it can be submit or you can put go ahead or etc. And then even you can choose the style of this button. So the style and the color now is, as you see, green, but you can change it. Let's put our branded color that we have. Yes, it is. This is our color. Then you can change the background. Now it's white, but you can change as well into red. So it will look like this and button color. So now the text is in white and button text color. The text is in white, but you can change it into, let's say, black. And that's it. So it's so easy. But don't forget what we created the survey now. We have the questions and we have design. But once the person hit the button submit or go ahead in the end, you will need to send some confirmation message. Thank you. So this is the message. Thank you. We appreciate your feedback. Or you can put any other text here. Now we save it. And we go back to all our surveys. And here we are. This is how our survey that we did already look like. So as you see, we use the background completely branded in colors. We put the name of the survey, we mentioned the time, logo, we did questions of different types and we did the uh, customize of the submit button. So the survey is ready. But then the next step, how should you send it to your contacts? The survey is sent to your contacts via mail list. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to activate your survey. So this is how it will look like nice work. You created the survey, then you need to turn it on. 
once you turn it on there are options share by email on Facebook and on Twitter this is as well you can do to spread awareness on the social media about your survey but we are talking now about share by email if you click here again you have two options the first option link with automatic response attribution means that the recipient of your email will if they will go to the survey you will track it and you will see that this very recipient took your survey another link is anonymous it means it doesn't track who from your recipients took the survey it's up to you to decide which option is better but i choose the first one and the link to the first one is here so you need to copy to click board it's copied and then you can close this window then what we need to do we need to go to create again choose email design the email list and we put the name of the campaign again we keep the same youtube channel congratulations if you are still watching it means you conquered the technical side of a survey for the first survey it will take you around 45 to 60 minutes but once you did your first survey it will take you not more than 15 minutes to further surveys to create you will have already templates in place branded things in place you will have and you will know each step how to create a survey and you will have a set of automated skills to do that so if you like this video thumbs up and leave a comment below if you have any question even a tiny and small please don't hesitate to drop it there every question will be answered thank you for watching and see you later